back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So, today we're going to be trying out two new bronzers that recently came out. And I got so many requests to try them on camera. So I thought, why not just, instead of doing separate videos, like, let's just compare them. Why not? So, I've got the Hula Caramel Bronzer, which recently came out. They come out with darker shades, finally, by Benefit. And then we've got the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Bronzer. Oh my god, the excitement is real. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to T9086. So thank you so much for the comment and the suggestion. Let's just jump straight into the video. I haven't got any bronzer or blush or anything like that. Just my base kind of like foundation, concealer powder, all that crap. The Benefit Hula came in, uh, I think, two darker shades. Uh, caramel being one of them. The one above it is very, it's much it's more for like deeper skin tones, but it's quite red tone as well. So this one really stood out to me. I thought it wasn't going to be dark enough, but to be honest, just the hula shows up a bit on me. So I think this would be fine. And then in the Fenty Beauty one, I got the, it's called the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. And I got Island Ting. Now, this is, it was easy for me to choose this benefit one. But obviously with the Fenty one, there were so many like options. Um, I was really, really, really hesitating between Island Ting and Caramel Cutie. Didn't like, um, there was one Bayern Girl, I think. So I knew I wanted to check out Caramel Cutie, but then I also thought I was going to get Bajan Girl. Bajan Girl? Is that how you say it? But uh, I didn't really like that. It was quite reddish. Now, Caramel, I'm going to put a swatch, um, a picture of the swatches. Caramel Cutie is, is darker because I think... I've, I wanted both basically. I wanted to get Island Ting and um, Caramel Cutie. I was like, I want both, but she was like, Caramel Cutie is not in stock. And I was like, why? Because Caramel Cutie would really suit me during summertime, whilst the Island Ting is really good for now. And it's, it's slightly lighter, but it's also much warmer. Whilst Caramel Cutie is quite warm still, but it's more towards like a neutral tone. But it still has a lot of warmth to it. But I just loved both shades. And to be honest, I'm an NC43 to NC44 during summer. And they both would have suited me. I think definitely Caramel Cutie for summer. Or I could even wear it wear it now. But Island Ting really appealed to me. I'm glad I got Island Ting. But I'm definitely going to be getting Caramel Cutie. That's for sure. Now, the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I believe I paid £26 in store. And this one I got for 23 I was so shocked. I didn't think they were 23 so like when I heard the price, I was like, I want both, please. I want both shades, but you know, hey ho. The Hula Bronzer does come with a brush. I don't think I'll like this. Like, yeah, I don't like this brush. It's soft, but it's so like stiff and square. Like it's not for me. So I'm just gonna use a bronzer brush that I usually use. So we are gonna do Hula Caramel on this side. That's definitely much darker than I thought it would be. To be honest, bronzers are like something that I don't really have much of. So I was so like open to getting more bronzers. I definitely need more. And it's something, it's like one of the products I wear every day, even to work. Like I can't live without bronzer and mascara and concealer, to be honest. Like if you give me those three products, I'm good to go. Now, obviously, you can tell that blended very, very easily. And I really like the tone. It's not patchy. I'm happy with that, like just off the bat. Okay, now let's go on to the Fenty one. I do have to say I love the packaging. It doesn't feel like heavy. It feels a bit like plasticky to be honest, but um, I really don't mind for like the price to be honest. But it's really, it's very, very pretty um, packaging. So in Fenty, you get 6.23 grams. In the Benefit one, you get eight grams. So you obviously get more in here and it's, it's slightly, I think this is 26, 23. So you get more in here at least. Yeah, let's try this, shall we?
I feel like they're very similar colors, although I did feel like I'm using brushes that are picking up the product really nicely. But this one is just a little bit harder to blend for me at least. This one was a bit smoother. But this looks really nice as well. Ooh, I like it. Look how smooth that is. But what I did realise though, which is so weird, when I was watching the Fenty Beauty one on counter, it was oxidising, even like the makeup artist, by the way, the makeup artist on the Fenty Beauty counter in Harvey Nichols, Knightsbridge, they're so lovely, like they, was, they were all so nice. They were just so nice, honestly. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there. But even the girl who's serving me, like she was like, what? It got darker? Like it literally oxidised on my skin. So this one is the Benefit Hula and this is Fenty Beauty Island Ting. I have been watching a few reviews on the Fenty one and apparently like some people found it quite like pigmented and they are but when I was applying it to my face I didn't feel like it was going like patchy or blotchy or you know you know when you just get a full on like patch of colour like I didn't get that I felt like I had to like really build up. I feel like I need to be a bit more light handed with the Benefit one almost. But this is really nice. I feel like they're very similar. And I love both. I... I love the bronziness. Guys, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I definitely went a bit more heavy-handed on the Benefit one. Ignore this bit, because this bit of my skin is always like that this is not like patching like it whenever i apply bronzer i always get like a bit i have pigmentation here so it goes a bit funny and i have a lighter patch of skin like this is normal this is not patchiness um this side doesn't really get it it's more this side but so yeah ignore that i usually get that with all my bronzers it's just the way my skin is so first impressions i really really like both honestly i really really do they applied so easily, they're both very pigmented. I didn't experience any like over pigmentation where like you need to be careful with the application. I didn't experience that. Um, I did use a non-synthetic brush I believe. These are not synthetic hairs. The one I use with the Benefit one are synthetic. So maybe that syn the synthetic one picked up more, I don't know. But either way like I like both and I really love the tone and the colours of both. I don't even know if I want to get caramel cuties because I'm quite happy with this one. But I know I get quite tan during summer so I might get it on. I might get it later on but once it's in stock I know I'm going to get it. I feel like it's so affordable like £23 for Fenty Beauty which is super nice like really good quality. I'm really happy with the way this applied. I feel like the benefit one is like like if you want... A, a more affordable one get the Fenty one and I know you get less product but this is gonna last you long anyways um but I would yeah get the Fenty one but to me I'm really glad I got both they're really really nice bronzers so either way I'll recommend both I'm really happy with these and also if you get student discount you can get them like on discount at Boots or something so look out for student discounts you know if you're a student out there the bronzer that I've been using every single day is the My MAC Mineralized Skin it's Finish and I've literally hit pan on this which never never happens to me. Um, and I bought this to like compare. I don't know like when I think about it the bronzer that I wear is really orangey. These two like they're very similar. Look at that. So then like keep these two here. If I can. And this is my MAC one. Can you see how these two are similar and my MAC one's really orangey? I, to be honest, I've been wearing this because I don't really have a bronzer apart from my Topshop Salute, which is very similar to these two and very much more affordable if you're looking for affordable bronzer. I use that all the time, so I think I moved on to this one and never changed. But yeah, these colours kind of attract me more. I definitely went really heavy handed on these bronzers just to like see the tone and like how they blend and everything. But you know, I'm really happy. The only thing that I would have to check is, which I'm going to do tomorrow, is I'm going to like wear it for the whole day and see if any of them go patchy, which to be honest, I really doubt. I never really have problems with bronzers. 
but I'll do it anyways and update the info box for you guys so keep an eye out for that and I will let you guys know in on Instagram as well so follow me on Instagram if you want updates but so far off my based on my first impression I give both like a solid so I'm gonna give the Fenty one a 9 out of 10 and the, ben the Benefit one an 8 out of 10 because £26 for a bronzer but I still love it I still love the product but I would recommend the Fenty one because it's more for it's only £23 compared to 26 I know it's like only a £3 difference but I don't know £23 just sounds better in my mind <laughs> I'm just an easily manipulated um, consumer I guess <laughs> but I love both I love both I will recommend both to you it just depends what you guys want I love both colors they're very very similar as you can guys as you guys can tell so do you know what I'm not gonna even rate them they're both beautiful bronzers and I love them okay I hope you found this comparing video useful and if you want to see more like this let me know um, I definitely enjoyed doing this and trying these bronzers out for you guys and I'm so glad I got my hands on the Fenty Beauty one because I was so hyped up about them. I was hyped up about both of them, to be honest, but more the Fenty Beauty one, I think. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next one.